Welcome to our instructional video on how to program and run your phototherapy unit equipped with integrated dosimetry. Before we begin, you will need the calibration output certificate along with a UVA or UVB backup time chart that came with your unit. When programming a treatment, you will need to input the dose you want to receive as well as the proper safety backup time. Once you have received your doctor's dosing instructions, you will need to calculate your safety backup time. To calculate a backup time, you will first need to know the power output of your unit. The power output of your unit will be located on the calibration output certificate under the current value section. In this example, the narrowband UVB power output is 3.7 milliwatts per square centimeter. Next, we will use the UVB backup time chart to calculate the backup time. You need to know two numbers here, the power of your unit, which we determined in the last step, and the dose prescribed to you by your doctor. In this example, let's assume the power output is 3.7 and that our doctor prescribed 240 millijoules of treatment. First, look at the top row of the UVB backup time chart. This is where you will locate your unit's power output. In our example, the output is 3.7, so we need to find the interval in which the 3.7 falls. According to this chart, the 3.7 falls between 3.5 and 4. In this example, we will ignore the 4 and round down to 3.5. It is important to note that if your power output falls in between two numbers, you will always round down. Next, look at the column on the far left. Here you will find a wide range of potential doses. In our example, the prescribed dose is 240 millijoules, so we look at the column and find 240. Now, to calculate the backup time, we need to find where the power output and the prescribed dosage intersect. This intersection is the safety backup time. In our example, a power output of 3.5 and a dose of 240 intersect at a safety backup time of 1 minute and 30 seconds. Once you know your dose and have calculated your backup time, you are now ready to program your treatment. The device will always start in sleep mode. Sleep mode may be represented by a dot shifting back and forth across the screen, or for units equipped with FlexRx, a numerical representation of your remaining exposures. To bring your unit out of sleep mode, press the Enter key one time. The word code should appear on the screen. The factory default code is 7. To enter your code, press the up arrow until the number 7 appears. When the screen shows three zeros and a flashing 7, press the Enter key one time. A new screen will appear that has four zeros separated by a colon. This is where we will enter the backup time. In our example, the backup time is 1 minute and 30 seconds. Press the up arrow once and a 1 will begin flashing on the screen. Next, press the left arrow one time to move it a space to the left. Now we will enter the 3 by pressing the up arrow three times. Press the left arrow one time to move both the 1 and the 3 a space to the left. Since the 0 is already there, we are finished entering our 1 minute and 30 seconds. Remember to hit the Enter button to lock in the backup time. After you've locked in your backup time, hit the Mode button to switch to the Dose Entry screen. This screen has four zeros with no colon in between them. We will enter the dose the same way we entered the backup time. Continuing our example, the dose will be 240 millijoules. Enter the two by pressing the up arrow twice. Next, press the left arrow one time to move the two a space to the left. Now we will enter the four and move it to the left. The zero is already there, so press the Enter key one time to lock in the dose. We are now finished programming the treatment. When you are ready to begin, simply put on your goggles and press the Enter key one time to start the treatment. Now you know how to program and run your phototherapy unit equipped with integrated dosimetry. To learn more, visit our website at www.davlin.com or call us toll-free at 1-800-322-8546.